Hello, darlings. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I will sub you back. Now stay safe, get your boosters, and here's the video. Hello, darlings. It's Brandy here. Today we are going to do a super classy, very beginner friendly macaron uv color changing white lace set yeah is there enough in that title <laughs> but first it's shameless promotion time okay if y'all don't know we got these cute little kirby charms and we got the full body um hello kitties in and of course we have all this original sanrio kawaii um, we also have small of the cinnamon roll. Yes, we do. And we have a little assortment of Pikachu Pokemon stuff. And my ambassadors have gone hard for this Pokemon stuff. So please go check their videos out. Cherie, Lisa, and Sassy, all three of them. And Lisa and Sassy was kind of like a joint effort, you know, um, a collab. So please go check out their stuff because it is fire. And don't forget to use the ambassador codes to save 10%. KF10, Cherie Baby 10, Sassy 10, or Lisa 10. And yes, my bitch Catherine is back in full force, okay? Um, she might do some nail stuff, but she's kind of switching it up to do the whole witchy thing. Not Wiccan, not as a religion, but as an aesthetic, just like me. Um, you know, we're born this way and we work it out as we grow. So those are the two videos. It's in two separate parts. I guess the first part explaining what's been going on with her and the second part she is transplanting um, a house orchid um, planting wise. I don't know, whatever. So <laughs> I'm not great at that stuff. I could do my tomatoes, which y'all will see pics of my garden, you know, once it starts popping. But um, yeah, so go check her out if you're interested and please come by the website. We do have some more stuff coming out shortly um so i hope that you like it now let's get on to the video okay so here we have our iMessage beauty foil gel glue i have pre-painted the nails in these cute macaron colors um i believe the blue and the baby pink are from venalisa and the other ones are from different brands <laughs> you know an assortment of brands however you want to say it <laughs> Now, I am an ambassador for iMessage Beauty, so if you want to save 15% on any of their products, use code BRCNAILS15 and save yourself some cash. And I love this foil glue. It works really well. You need to keep it at a, a medium consistency, but very even layer, because if you get any type of bumps or anything in it, it's going to show in the pattern for the most part. So you want to try to avoid that. So what I was doing here is I was just double testing to make sure that I had the right side down and I just put it on the little corner, right? And then if something picks up, then that's great. And then if it doesn't, then I know it's probably the wrong way. So I picked up that little side and it showed that it was lifting. So it was all good. But I think the ring finger, I actually put it on upside down because I didn't check it. <laughs> So what has ends up happening is you go to pull it off and it is just like, like really hard to get it off. And that's when you know you got it on the wrong side. <laughs> and you know, that pretty much only applies to like quote unquote old foils because the newer ones that are on like the clear backing that are a little bit more heavy, you can absolutely tell which side you want to go on. Um, but the older original foils, it can be confusing sometimes. And with this white lace going on bright colors, it's not going to pop. It's not going to be like, bam. And if you want that, then you should consider using black lace because that will pop, right? So if you were going to use white lace and you wanted it to pop, you would use a darker color. But I wanted to match it up with the UV flowers. So it's kind of like a, a there, but not there. It's not quite a disappearing act or reappearing act but almost okay so I'm not really too worried about the print being broken up 
because like I said, I'm gonna put top, I'm gonna put stuff on top of it. And honestly, when it comes to foil, it might be driving you crazy, but regular people will not notice. You're just so hyper focused on getting the image all the way on there, and really, it doesn't matter. People don't care. <laughs> I know that's sad to say, but it's true. So I'm not gonna make you go through a whole nother foil. Okay, so I brought this down to regular speed. I'm a big liar. I know I said I wasn't going to show another nail, but this is the one I screwed up. So I did the foil gel. I put it in the lamp, take it out the lamp, pick up the foil, and put it on there, right? And, you know, you guys always see me buzzing through with it because I do take my time, and I do put a bunch of pressure on there. So I wasn't concerned about it bunching up like I told you earlier, so... I wasn't really worried about that, but when I do my foils, I usually will put it on with my fingers and then do it with my finger. <laughs> and then I'll use my handy dandy silicone tool to put more pressure on there. Now see, it's a little out of frame when I go to take it off, but just watch. I can't do the sound because I talk to people or I'm listening to music or something, so you wouldn't even hear it anyway. But you see how that's just like not wanting to come off? That's how you can tell you have it the wrong way around. Like I had to put some pressure in there to get it off. Now, can you reuse it? Most of the times you can because it was on the other side. You can reuse a foil with the with the gel though, I would recommend taking some alcohol and wiping off whatever residue of the old gel and then put more gel on top. Okay, so now I am using assorted UV color changing flower mixes. Um, I picked the nail colors to correspond with the UV flowers because I want them to kind of be hidden at first and then pop out once you know they get into the uv so you do get that little hidden but not hidden because you still see them i did top coat over everything which you can it's no problem but i think it kind of took away from the um the 3d-ness of the flowers even i tried to go as thin as possible but still but there will not be anything moving from those you know where if you try to just like go up to the edges you know you can pop up um, especially caviar beads um they fly off wherever and anywhere so i i wanted to really lock them in but i did want to give that little warning about you know the actual 3d-ness maybe getting a little I don't, I don't know, smushy maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In each UV set, you get three, three. Why do I keep trying to say three? Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's birds outside my damn air conditioner because it's going to be 90 degrees this week. So uh, loud as hell. And then we have the little rooster up there going cock a doodle doo at all times of the day and the night. It doesn't matter always it's like we have like a nature preserve around our fucking house <laughs> it drives me nuts sometimes let me tell you okay so you get 15 six millimeter uv color changing flowers you get 30 of the three millimeter changing flowers you get five grams of silver and gold caviar beads that's total and then um, there's two gold and two silver molten metal pieces and then there are glass beads and you get three different sizes of uh, flatback pearls as well. There are also um, the blue ones right here. They don't have any three millimeter ones. They're only the 15 millimeter, so they're lower priced. And then you can get 30 of the three millimeter ones for 99 cents. So there's, you know, a, a hierarchy of prices. And depending on what you want and what you like, you know, you can go there, but you can definitely, especially if you buy multiple colors, they can be used for multiple sets. So, um, I think they're freaking awesome. So I'm going to be using them all summer. <laughs> Originally, I was going to use the glass beads with the blue one as well, but since I kind of filled up the center and I didn't want to have any snagging issues, you know, with, um, stuff that's raised above the nail so I decided to go with it for the pink ones um which I think can I, I love them I think they came out awesome they're very 
like classy understated but they still have that length to them like this is my comfortable length i think because i as y'all know i have bought longer nails um full coverage that either i can't get my charms to stay the, the way that i want to or i'm knocking into my fingers because of my arthritis so it's like click 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 clacking while i'm trying to wear them so the double xl i think is gonna be my size like that's it that's what i'm gonna work with okay i am gonna be putting out um some press on nail sets for sale i know my giveaway was crap nobody entered i had two entries so um and one of them was another nail channel and I'm, i think she only entered because she felt bad <laughs> so <laughs> i won't be giving away any sets but i am going to start um producing them and showing them on the website ig page and all that stuff so hopefully i can catch somebody's eye and you know expand the business the way that it was supposed to be in the beginning um here i am right now putting the pink beads on there and they're regular just pink um or all of them they're glass beads for like you know crafting necklaces bracelets earrings whatever what may have you but they're so small i can't work with them i don't really have i like my eyesight is fine it's the dexterity i don't have it um you know with my arthritis being the way that it is it just i just can't um so yeah i think that they it worked out perfect um i am using pearls and caviar beads in addition to the glass beads and um i put a couple of the aurora dragonflies in this one as well so that's a little bit later down the road if you are still watching this video please hit the like button let your girl know you were here leave a comment the easiest free quickest way you can help any youtuber is like share hit that bell subscribe definitely um there is also this new thanks button which you can donate to the channel if you want to help a sister out you know and you're not interested in nail products um that is a very nice thing that youtube have youtube has started um and on to the next decoration of this nail now this is one of the ones that i'm going to put the dragonflies on i mean i love the look you know of the uv flowers but i felt like it needed just a little something something more and i was lucky enough to have the colors to coincide with the uv flowers and with the um nail paint so nail paint <laughs> gel polish <laughs> So I didn't put out a video last week. I, mean, I We were having some family mental health issues. And, you know, I always say here and anywhere, your health and your mental health, you know, has to come first before anything else. So it, the whole thing just left me drained and depressed. And I'm finally getting back into the swing of things. So, um, yeah, I just... That's the reason why I just wanted to let you know, not that you probably even missed me, but that's okay because <laughs> we are back. I have some awesome stuff coming up. You're, you guys are going to be jaw dropped. Let me tell you, it's it's going to be so great. I can't wait to do it. I got that little um, evil finger touching thing like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but anyways. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with the way these came out. And I, by the end, I was just kind of reaching into any tray <laughs> when it came to the um, caviar beads and, and the pearls. I kind of just was going, you know, wherever. And if you can see the mess in the top right corner, once I moved my fat hands, I was having trouble picking up the pearls. Um, my katana, it was like they were bouncing off, like it was too heavy and with my arthritis picking it up and putting it on the nail wasn't really working either so but yeah you see that on the top right corner where that that tray spilled i wish i had gotten it on camera so that you could have seen it because it literally like popped it was like i hit the corner of it with my hand and it was just like boop and you know there's caviar beads and little pearls and all sorts of crap on there so finally i started taking like the caviar beads and stuff off the actual paper towel because 
why not start the cleanup early, right? So after that, I ended up flipping over the pink one too. <laughs> yeah, you can see the little pink beads back there. Didn't get either one of them on camera, but you know, because I kind of like to have the bloopers and stuff like that in there because everybody goes through it and it's frustrating at the time. And as long as it's not too messy or like you lose something important, you're able to laugh about it after. So yes, it happens to everyone. <laughs> okay, so I already cut you short on that other nail, but um, yeah, I just wanted to save you all some time because I mean, it's not like super duper mind blowing um placements you know i did want to stop and show this green one i kind of did it the opposite of the one that already that i've already done with the dragonfly um just to give it a little something extra and there is that little snag that could happen um because the dragonfly is raised um and i put it at the end of the nail but um no problems so far so that's good you know um, but i did want to show it at least in part Okay, so I was cleaning up as I was going, and I don't know, you probably can't see the caviar beads, um, but a quick and easy way to pick those up is to take your little nail stand and just go along on the paper towel or the mat or whatever it may be, and you can pick them up nice and easy. Um, it, it's a little harder to get them off the magnet and into the tray, <laughs> but at least you don't have... Oh yeah, see, I had it on the side and everything. They were all over the place. Okay, so I tried to do it with, um, to get them to change with the flashlight, and it wasn't really working, so I had put them in the lamp, um, and that was kind of the look, but you gotta remember that with UV flowers or UV anything, it needs to be in constant sunlight, and like the pink with the red, that one stays charged for like ever, but the other ones, you know, some of them stay charged, some, some of them don't. And even like the blue one, um, I like the thumb, I couldn't get it to change with the light. So um, I will be adding some pics in here, you know, to show the actual kapow of it, hopefully. We'll see if I can get some good ones. <laughs> now, once it gets sunny out, I'm definitely going to go back to this set and take some better pictures. Because like I said, it's really hard to capture it when it's supposed to be, you know, unconditional UV to keep the color changed, you know? So yeah, like the pink, those stay red for quite a while. Um, but the other ones, if it's not in constant UV light, then the color change will not be permanent either. And I can't find my little lamp and the flashlight one wasn't doing it and the big lamp it was taking too long for me to remove the lamp make sure it doesn't fall take the picture and it it just ended up a hot mess so if there was anything bad about this it would be the color change issue but like I said it needs to be an uncondi unconditional <laughs> it needs to be in constant uv that's the word constant <laughs> Don't forget to use our ambassador codes KF10, Sheree Baby 10 Sassy10, or Lisa10 to save yourself 10% on any order. And yeah, keep an eye out because we are going to be coming with some fire stuff over here. So yes, keep your eyes here. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.